What's good everyone, it's Anna from Ami Music Mobile. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and remake from scratch Drake's Another Late Night featuring Lil Yachty. Tempo for this one is 158 beats per minute and the track is produced by Child Boy and Lil Yachty. We're gonna start off with the main key sounds that we hear throughout the entire track. And for that sound, we're gonna bring in Logic's vintage electric piano. And we are going to bring in the uh, the deluxe classic preset right here. And now let's draw on those chords. So those are the foundation chords used for the entire track. Next is going to duplicate this right here and put in a top melody. Next, let's layer those chords with like a gritty synth sound. We're gonna create a new softer instrument track. And we are gonna go over to Logic's Retro Synth. We're gonna start off with a preset. We're gonna go over to Synth Keyboards and we're gonna, it's going off of my screen right here, but the preset is called Steam Synth. We're gonna go ahead and copy down the same chords. They sound like this. But we gotta adjust it a little bit. We're just gonna drop one note down there. Let's go ahead and adjust that sound. We're gonna open up Logic's Retro Synth. Let's just isolate it for now. I'm gonna open up the envelope right here to make it a little bit brighter. I'm gonna push this a little bit higher to get in some more of that white noise. Let's bring in some chorus. Next, we're gonna take off the glide so that the notes aren't gliding into each other. Now, let's shape that sound with a little bit of EQ. And now we wanna make this a little bit more grittier. So we're gonna bring in Logic's Fat Effects to do the trick. So we're gonna go over to um, Multi Effects, Fat Effects. And uh, we're gonna use the default setting that loads up here. We're just gonna turn off the bass enhancer here. Turn off that filter there as well. I'm gonna turn up our master. So it's already a little bit grittier. So we're just gonna focus in on our distortion section right here. I'm gonna turn down this one. I'm just gonna turn, turn the second one over to a dirt type of distortion. I'm gonna pull this knob up. Now let's mix the two keys together. Next, let's bring in that sign pluck. It's a really simple sound to create. So we're gonna do that from scratch. We're gonna create a new software instrument track. We're gonna bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And uh, we're just gonna focus in on oscillator one using our tri triangle mixer right here. Going to a sine wave, and we're not gonna do anything else. We're just gonna go ahead and draw in that pattern. It's just a simple two note melody. Let's just play with the melody so I know where it's at. Next, let's recreate that square lead and create another instance of Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And uh, once again, we're gonna work off of the default setting that loads up. 
we're going to move our toggle mixer all the way to oscillator one. This time we're going to pull it over to a square wave. Let's draw on that pattern and then we'll get to adjusting the sound. This first note is going to be a lot softer. Next is open up Logic's ES2, we'll just adjust this a little bit. We're going to pull down the cutoff. And then we're going to just make it a little bit thinner sounding by pulling up an EQ and cutting out some of the lows. Something like that. Maybe that's a little too thin, I'm going to pull that back a bit. Next, we gotta bring in like this gritty bass that's sort of, it's like a mid type of bass that sits underneath everything else. So we're gonna create a new software instrument track. And once again, we will design it from scratch. We're gonna open up Logic's ES2 synthesizer. And uh, it's basically just going to be a super saw. So three sawtooth oscillators all together. We'll just add in a moment. Let's just draw in that pattern. that over make it a little bit harder hitting except on this last note we're gonna go down let's go and solo that out and just adjust the sound a little bit here all right so the first thing we do here is turn on unison to make it nice and big Let's pull up the second one to one full octaves just to give it a different tone to it. Add in some detuning. Add in a little bit of resonance. Next, let's just adjust our envelope. I want it to be a little bit softer, so I'm gonna pull up the attack. And then I'm gonna open up the EQ and I'm just gonna filter some of the lows here. I want it to be a little bit more mid-rangey. We're getting there. Next, let's layer up that bass with another one. So for that, we're gonna create a new softer instrument track. And uh, we're gonna bring in a preset this time. We're gonna go over to user patches. We're gonna go to Mogul preset, sorry, the IM presets. We're gonna go to Sounds of Metro Boomin. We're gonna bring in the Metro Moog bass preset. We're gonna copy down the same pattern. Let's isolate that. Let's open up the EQ and just, I'm gonna take out the top end here, just open it up fully. Once again, I want this mid rangey. And that's really all I'm gonna do, it just gives a different texture to the bass line. So if we just layer those two together. Next, we gotta bring in one last synth. It's just a little pluck synth. Let's get to that. So for that, we're gonna create a new software instrument track. We're gonna go over to our library browser here. We're gonna go to synthesizer. We're gonna go to brass. And we're gonna to go to the final lead preset. Uh, let's go ahead and just draw in that pattern and then we'll get to the sound design. It's really just one note. It's going to go like this. Go ahead and duplicate that over. It just happens on the ones. except we gotta bring in some reverb to really fill this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Logic's, let's go to reverb, and we'll go to chroma verb. And I'm going to bring in a preset here, we'll go to effects and we'll go to spherical.
just bring down the size of it a bit. Maybe we'll increase the density. Uh, let's make it 100% wet and the dry will bring down. So it's a little bit more pushed back. Maybe let's pull up that dry a bit and let's pull back the wetness level. Now let's get to the drums. So for that, I'm going to go over to my browser right over here and I'm going to go to the drum kit that I dropped recently, the For All The Dogs Deconstructed Kit. I'm going to go to the track 21, Another Late Night. It features all of the drum sounds from that track or from each track off the album. And then I'm going to bring in that snare. Let's bring that into Drum Machine Designer. And i uh, got to put in that pattern right here. Now, let's bring in those hi-hats. Except we need some repeats in there, so I think this one gets repeated. And so does this one. Except we're going to do some pitch work on our hi-hats, so we're going to go ahead and control click and we'll convert this over to MIDI. And we're just going to push this up. And these two will bring down. Next, let's bring in that open hat. Now, that 808. And it goes up right here. Bring it down to the right octave. I just want to make sure that the 808's length is controlled by the MIDI. So what we're going to do is go to our 808, open up Quick Sampler and change it to Classic. This way when it stops, the 808 will stop. See it cuts out like that. I'm just going to make this louder, we'll change it over to Mono. And maybe I'll make it a little bit beefier, I'll bring in Logic's Fat Effects. Let's just close that up. I'm going to take out the compressor, take out the bass enhancer, take it out the distortion and just pull up a little bit of clipping. A little too much. Now let's get to the second snare. And that's pretty much all there is to the track. I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange it, mix it, and when we come back, we'll take a listen to the remake we just put together, Drake's Another Late Night, featuring Lil Yachty. Right there to Drake's Another Late Night featuring Lil Yachty. For your Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you. Place it as a downloadable link below this video. If you don't use Logic, I got your back as well. I'm going to export all the main stamps, audio stamps, and of course include the drum kit that you heard in this remake. You can find that playback down below with the like button as well. If you have a question on this or just want to chat, let's go and talk in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.